Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for Taurus, my Earth sign subscribers. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Taurus X is doing then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you don't wish any negativity upon anybody please only positivity because karma is a bee and it'll end up coming back on the my loves so let's get started cloud guided messages for taurus please can't shuffle these cards they're so thick cloud guided messages for taurus please Oh, really been working on yourself. I can see that you've been really hard at work. It's like you've gone through a life-changing moment. Something's like give you a new lease of life, a second chance at life, a new opportunity. So it's like if your dream career didn't work out, then something new has been put in your path. I feel like you thought there wasn't much time you left, but all of a sudden you've been given a second chance and I feel like you're working on your fitness, you're working on your your health. I feel like out of nowhere you've had this like major glow up, this new appreciation for life, like not taking life for granted. Major celebrations. Let me put on my glasses because I cannot see shit. Yeah, all your family have seen your community around you, have seen what you've gone through, and they're they're celebrating with you, they're rejoicing with you because of how, how much you've transformed your life. There's like masses of support. I can't believe what you've gone through. Oh my God, this glow up. You're a fighter. You've done it. That's what I'm seeing people saying. You're inspiring others. Oh yeah. Your determination, your focus, your drive, you're not giving up. I, I, an air sign, I, I, I know, I know. I've got Taurus in my chart and I've, I'm connected to a lot of Tauruses, like in my family. So I, I know. Did you hear that thunder then? It's like six o'clock in the morning, it's really early. Um, that was mad. I don't know if you heard that. You had to pull away on yourself because of this, this life altering moment, this second chance, you had to go into like this hermit, you had to go into this like time of rest, retreating from the world. It's like you're recovering. I don't know if you went through an illness. Did you want it? But it's, uh, do you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing no matter how ill you was or no matter what you was going through, you're always focused on the silver lining. You're always focusing on the good, even though maybe that day there was hardly anything that was good, that's all you're focused on. It's like, I don't care what happens. I'm going to make sure that everybody else is okay around me. I'm going to make sure that I'm okay. I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. No, 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 no. No, it's almost as if I'm seeing that instead of being a Debbie Downer, you were the life and soul of the party. Because I'm seeing at some point you had bad news and you pulled yourself back and you were like, how am I going to get over this? How am I going to get through this? Behind closed doors, 
like I'd say, say if you had a drink, like your normal day-to-day situation, you're coping with it, you're happy, you're stable, you're showing everybody that you're a fighter. But behind closed doors, if you had a few drinks, let the alcohol get into your system, I see that you've been emotional about it. And then everybody sees that you're actually not coping, that you are scared, that you don't know how you're going to get through things. But you did get through it, you fought. And I feel like you need to give yourself a pat on the back because I can't stop looking at this card. They're making me watch it. During this period, you was the most vulnerable that you... Show me. In this really turmoil time where you were battling, you were coming up against the worst moment in, of your life, I feel like no matter what, you, you never gave up on yourself, even though everything was up against you. It's, it's almost as if I can see that you're making sure that you're not just keeping the faith, you're making sure that everybody around you is keeping the faith. You're like, everything's going to be fine, guys. I'm good. I'm strong. I've got this. That's what I'm seeing. May I, I may have lost my job. I may be going through this illness, but I know I'm going to get something better. I know I'm going to battle this. That's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> because I'm seeing that your family's emotional. Your family's upset for you because of what you're going through. But no matter what you was going through, you're still like, come on, I've got this, I've got this. There was a lot of obstacles and there was a lot of victories that you had to overcome. Yeah, there were some really big challenges. And sometimes behind closed doors, you didn't think that you would overcome them. But I feel like you're taking a day at you was taking a day at a time. And now there's victory. Because now all of a sudden you're dreaming about what your future has in store. You're dreaming about what's what can be or what I can accomplish. And now I've got this second chance. What am I gonna do with it? Am I gonna find love again? Am I gonna go on this career path? When at some point you never thought that you'd be able to have that second chance. But now you have. You've been patient. You've been hard at work. And now you're being rewarded for what you've got what for what you've come through. Oh, this is making me feel very emotional, my loves. Wow. I literally just want to give you a hug. That's what I want to do. I want to give you a hug. Yeah, you're taking down that wall. You're taking off that mask. Because that's what they're making me see. Yeah, and you're getting into your, your queen of uh, pentacles energy. You may even be meeting a king of pentacles. You might be connecting to another earth sign. So it could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Somebody who you're going to feel very nostalgic with. To be honest with you, my wonderful spiritual family, my beautiful Tauruses, I do feel like you have a lot of options. I do feel like people can see this glow up. Pe people can see your transformation. And no matter what you have gone through, nobody is judging you for it. If anything, people are respecting you for it. Because you stood your ground, you believed in yourself, you fought that battle and never gave up. Be proud of yourself of what you've achieved because this is absolutely unbelievable. I am proud of you. If nobody's told you how proud of you they are, I'm telling you. Well done. Stand up tall, put that head up and go, look at what I achieved. Look at my strength, look at my power, look how amazing I am. I was in the worst time of my life and I was still fighting. It's going to make me emotional.
It's making me feel sick. It's made, I feel I feel like I'm having really bad morning sickness. I got um I didn't get morning sickness with my youngest, but um my eldest, but I got it with my youngest really bad. <clears throat> and that's what it's making me feel. Like I've got a stomach bug. So you may, when you were, ha maybe some of you, when you had this illness, you were dealing with sickness, like physically being sick. Because that's what they're making me feel. And can let's just for Taurus, please. Yeah, new love. I've got new love twice. Yeah. You may have had problems with your finance. But that's all being sorted. I just heard, oh, well, that's all sorted now. That's what I heard. New love. A new person has stirred romantic feelings in your love life. And I'm seeing that if you have children, if you have older children, if I'm speaking to an older feminine or an older masculine, um, it's your children that are connecting you with this new love. This new love is connected, is connecting you with somebody. Because, no, your kids are connecting you to your new love. Why couldn't I say that? Oh, can you pull back that? Oh, you really had, I'm talking to somebody that had really bad sickness. I feel like my stomach's been turned upside down. Oh. Can you pull that energy back, please? Just give me the... Oh. Yeah, I just don't want to feel it. Oof. So sorry you have to go through that, my loves. Oh, that was not very nice. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Children, what did I just say? Children, your love life is being affected by your children. The reason why it's being affected is because you there's somebody that you're close to, somebody that is younger than you, that you nurture, so you have like um, a parent-child relationship, even though they might not even be your children. Do you know what? For some of you, I feel like it's your um, a dog mum. You're out on a dog walk and your dog like pulls you in a location and then that's when you meet this new love interest because there, there's dogs on here that are sh like I'm being shown that some of you are pets yeah but they're introducing you to this new love engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment oh for some of you I feel like you're going to get pregnant very quickly with this person because <sighs> i really do feel like i've got really bad morning sickness and that's all it's making me feel is how i was with my youngest <sighs> wow that's terrible and i've literally i've had my breakfast i've worked out and everything this morning and I've not felt sick at all. It's only since I've done this reading. So it's obviously your energy. Let's get a chakra card for the breast. For a chakra card, please. Final messages for my wonderful Tauruses. A chakra card for Taurus, please. Thank you, my loves, for your support on my channel. If you did want a personal reading, everything's linked down below. If you did want to go and check out my Patreon, I would be very grateful if you did so. I appreciate you all so much. I just want to say happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have everything that you desire coming your way. Third eye chakra, psychic awareness. I open my third eye and allow visions of higher wisdom to be received and trusted. I see clearly that which comes through my subtle senses to assist and to assist the alignment of my will with the divine. 
My psychic awareness is sacred, aligned only with the highest good for myself, others and the planet. I am psychic. Wow. Sacral chakra, emotions. It is safe for me to feel emotions as I experience relationships with myself and others and the universe. Emotions is there as a useful tool to give me information. As I listen to the na to and name my emotions, I become clear about the message and beliefs behind them. I liberate myself. I feel. Wow. Just take a moment to step back and really appreciate yourself for what you've come through. That's all I want you to do. And I want you to enjoy what is about to happen because your life is literally, and I, and I already feel like it's happening, I feel like your life is totally transformed and it's only going to get better from here out. You've got all your pentacles in order here, paying off any debts that are in place through your time of retreat. And it physically is onwards and upwards. This is creating memories, a new love, a new job, um, moving somewhere that fulfills you. This is fulfillment throughout. This is true happiness, true contentment. And I am so freaking happy for you all, seriously, because I don't feel like I'm just speaking to one person in particular now. I feel like there's quite a lot of you that's going to resonate towards us. And I am so happy. So happy. This is all your messages, my loves. I hope it gave you clarity on your current situations. Happy holidays, everybody. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journeys. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, my loves. Mwah. Bye, lovelies. Bye.